understanding the reverse repo facility at the Federal Reserve. In recent months, there has been a lot of discussion about the reverse repo facility at the Federal Reserve. This facility has seen a significant decrease in funds and has raised concerns about its impact on inflation, market stability, and personal finances. To understand the current situation, it is important to look back at the history of the repo market and the role of the Federal Reserve in intervening during times of crisis. This video will explore the reasons behind the decrease in the reverse repo facility, its implications, and what it means for the future. The repo market and the financial crisis. Before the financial crisis, the repo market served as a place where banks could obtain cash for their overnight funding needs. Banks would offer collateral, usually mortgage-backed securities in exchange for cash. However, during the financial crisis, banks faced difficulties as the collateral they had to offer was primarily mortgage-backed securities, which were no longer accepted by other banks. This led to a shortage of cash in the repo market and posed a risk to the stability of the banking system. Federal Reserve Intervention To prevent banks from collapsing due to a lack of overnight funding, the Federal Reserve stepped in and became the lender in the repo market. The Federal Reserve injected cash into the market and accepted the mortgage-backed securities as collateral. This intervention ensured that banks had access to the cash they needed and prevented a further crisis, the September 2019 repo rate spike. In September 2019, a similar situation to the financial crisis unfolded in the repo market. The repo rate spiked, indicating a shortage of cash. However, this time the cause was not bad collateral, but rather a lack of cash in the system. The Federal Reserve once again intervened by injecting cash into the repo market to meet the bank's funding needs. The Impact of Quantitative Tightening and Government Borrowing In 2020, the Federal Reserve engaged in significant money printing, which led to a surge in the M2 money supply. However, this also resulted in a new problem, an excess of cash and a shortage of collateral. The Federal Reserve's purchase of U.S. Treasuries to increase the money supply reduced the availability of collateral in the system. Additionally, the U.S. government's high rate of borrowing further strained the availability of cash for the existing collateral. The reverse repo facility and changing dynamics. To address the shortage of collateral, the Federal Reserve announced a temporary change to the supplementary leverage ratio rule in April 2020. This change allowed banks to temporarily suspend the need for collateral to offset their liabilities. However, this suspension expired in March 2021, and banks had to find collateral again. The reverse repo facility and cash drainage. Starting in April 2021, the reverse repo facility became a source of collateral for financial institutions. The Federal Reserve started paying an interest rate on funds in the facility to incentivize cash to flow into the facility instead of buying collateral from the open market. As a result, the amount of money in the reverse repo facility increased significantly, peaking at $2.3 trillion in June 2022. The draining of the reverse repo facility since May 2023, the reverse repo facility has been experiencing a steady decrease in funds. This is due to the attractiveness of higher interest rates offered by short-term U.S. Treasury bills compared to the lower rates in the facility. As a result, money market funds have been withdrawing cash from the facility and investing in Treasury bills. Implications of the draining facility When the reverse repo facility hits zero, it indicates that there is no longer an excess of liquidity and cash in the system. This will lead to an increase in interest rates and a decrease in the money supply. The combination of these factors can result in economic pain and potentially a recession. Conclusion The reverse repo facility at the Federal Reserve has seen a significant decrease in funds in recent months. This decrease is due to the attractiveness of higher interest rates offered by short-term U.S. Treasury bills. When the facility hits zero, it will have implications for interest rates, the money supply, and the overall economy. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for investors and individuals to navigate the changing financial landscape. As always, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel, All Things Money, to see more content like this.